What do you call an alligator wearing a vest? An investigator! We investigated some alligators at Gator Country outside Natchitoches, Louisiana. We learned a lot more than we expected. Like why they swallow rocks? We're going to share some of what we saw and the highlights of what we learned. There are two kinds of alligators, Chinese and American. This video is about the American alligator. This is their natural habitats. Sometimes they are found outside this area, usually the result of people moving them around, which is a bad idea for a lot of reasons. There's even some in Oklahoma. Female alligators build a nest out of dirt, mud, and vegetation. The nest can be up to three feet high and six feet across. In the nest, she'll lay 25 to 50 eggs. The eggs are about the size of a large chicken egg. The temperature of the nest determines the sex of the baby gators that will hatch. Temperatures of 93 degrees will produce males, and temperatures of 86 degrees will produce females. The mama alligator fiercely protects her nest. The eggs hatch in around 65 days. Sometimes the mama gator helps the babies out of their leathery shell by rolling the egg between her tongue and the roof of her mouth. When they hatch, they're about six to eight inches long and only weigh an ounce. The mama will carry them to water in her mouth and protect them for several months. Even the baby alligators are carnivores. They eat things like worms, insects, tadpoles, frogs, small fish, and crawdads. Starting off life so small is a challenge. Only one to 10% of the hatchlings make it to adulthood. When they are fully grown, they can be big animals. Females are usually around 8 feet long and 200 to 500 pounds. Males can weigh between 500 and over 1,000 pounds, and they can reach lengths of 13 feet. Younger gators eat more often, but adult alligators can go several weeks in between meals. Adults eat fish, turtles, birds, and mammals. Mammals even the size of young deer. They have 74 to 80 teeth that are great at catching and holding on to prey. But they aren't made for chewing, so gators typically swallow their food whole. Which brings us back to why they swallow rocks. Rocks in their stomach help them grind up their food, making it more digestible. Rocks also give them ballast, making them less buoyant and able to fully submerge in the water. They do need air to breathe, but they can stay underwater for 30 minutes at a time. Their nostrils have special valves that close to block out the water. They also have powerful jaws, able to bite down with as much as 3,000 PSI of pressure. For reference, humans max out at around 200 PSI. Another way to look at the pressure is that is about the same amount as a car crusher. So a turtle shell is no match for a grown gator. Their teeth do break and wear down, though, so alligators continuously grow teeth throughout their lives. They may go through more than a thousand teeth. Without a mouthful of strong teeth, they would starve. If dogs bark and cows moo, you may be wondering what sound a gator makes. Gators can hiss and click, but their main sound is a bellow, which is sort of like a deep growl. It sounds something like this. It's like the sound my stomach makes when I miss second breakfast. Alligators also have special eyes. They have enhanced night vision for hunting and a transparent third eyelid to protect their eyeballs when they're underwater. It's like having built-in swim goggles. That isn't all that's special about their bodies. They can also shut off blood flow to certain parts of their bodies, 
which allows them to save energy when they go into low energy modes. They have web feet for fast swimming, and their strong tail helps them swim, hunt, and fight. They can swim up to 25 miles per hour in short bursts. If you visit gator country, you'll see lots of gators, but you'll see plenty of other animals too. You might even get to hold or feed some of them. But even if you don't, you'll learn a lot and probably never look at a gator the same way again. If you like learning along with us on this adventure, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. When you subscribe and watch videos, it's a big help. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.